please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Patrick versus Pence. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mr. Patrick, you say five years ago you made a huge mistake by opening your doors to a stranger who needed a place to stay because that man betrayed you and slept with your girlfriend, Ms. Pence. Today, you're here to prove that you didn't father Pence's fraternal twins, four-year-olds Larry and Carrie, and the other man did. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Pence, you are certain Mr. Patrick is the father and claim the DNA test will prove it. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Patrick, take me back to how you found out she cheated. We had wanted to purchase another home. We met, we met the gentleman. We befriended him, let him move into our home. He offered to pay, help pay the bills and stuff. So which you I basically would be... took in a person that was going to rent a room? Yeah, basically, yes. Okay. Well, he stayed maybe five or six days, and he up and moved out. And I questioned her. I said, wonder why he just upped and left. Is it because me and you argue a lot? Uh, okay. You know, time goes on. Me and her sat around and had a few drinks, sitting at home enjoying ourselves. And she up and leaves and goes across the street to the neighbors. 10.30 runs around, no Miss Pence. Two, three o'clock comes around in the morning. Still no Miss Pence. Well, she doesn't show up until the next day, about 10.30 in the morning. <laughs> Really? And her, her hair's a wreck. You know, she looked like she went through a, a hurricane or something. Miss so Pence, you questions. got missing overnight? I did, Your Honor. Why was you gone all night? You know what I mean? What'd you do? Who was you with? And what was her response? She just was talking in circles, I, basically. I confessed, Your Honor, at that time. What did you tell him, Miss Pence? I had told him that I had slept with the gentleman that had been staying with us. Oh. Um, it was just the one time. It never happened again after that. And... He still seems to believe that it happened more than the one time, Your Honor. So you hadn't slept with him when he was actually living there? No, Your Honor. Wait, yeah. did you go looking for him or did you run into him? I kind of went looking for him. Um, Larry had continuously from really? day one accused <laughs> me of cheating constantly. I Mr. Had... Patrick. Yes, Mr. Okay. Patrick. I had never um, slept with anyone else before that you're, night. I had you're constantly... Flirt. You're so flirtatious. I was constantly... That's how I was honey. brought up. I'm constantly calling honey, people honey babe. and babe. What did That's I just, I'm from the South. Different That's how I was raised. It, <laughs> it has nothing to do with that. I never slept with anyone before that. Never. Uh -huh. You constantly accused me of it, and I kept telling you, you're going to keep pushing and keep pushing, and it's going to happen. That night it happened. That was the only time, and it's never happened since then. The gentleman that just left your house in five, six days, he says he's going to move in, help pay bills, rent a room. Then he leaves, just like that. Do you know why he left? No, Your Honor, I don't. I got a good idea. Why do you think he left? I believe that they were starting to catch feelings for one another or whatever. That's not true, and Mr. Patrick. a little bit too close for comfort. I think that's, that's why... That's not true. I think he was worried about me catching on to it. Do you know where to find him if he is the father? No, Your Honor, I don't. I've no. never spoke with the guy after that night. Never kept in touch with him after that night? No, Your Honor. I couldn't tell you where he is right now. So I have another question. Why that guy? You say you, 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 got, you left the house and you said, I went looking for him. And I told him if he kept pushing me, he kept saying I was cheating, that it's going to happen, and it did that night. Why that guy? It seemed like you there, went out looking for him. There was no specific reason as to why that guy. It was just someone at the time that was around, and it happened. So in other words, you But he wasn't around. He had left the house. He had, Your Honor. I was, I was with my neighbor, like I had stated earlier, um... Me and her had went out. I did kind of look for him, I guess you could say a little. Um, me and him well, got together you found that him, night. We ended up having the one night stand, and nothing happened after that night, Your Honor. Nothing. That I know and of. So it was probably the biggest mistake that I've ever made in my life. Um, I wish that I would have never made that mistake. Uh -huh. It should have never happened at all. It should have never happened, but it did, and I can't go back and change that. It's done. It's over with. I just want... I want some closure today so I don't have to continue to deal with the arguments and, and you constantly saying that I'm cheating and, and everything. How soon after that night um, I did have... you find out you were pregnant? May I pre uh, present? You brought an exhibit? Please. Yes, a calendar. Please, please step over to it and, and explain this. On November 2nd, Your Honor, is the date that me and Mr. Patrick had sex. And then on August 7th is the date that the twins were born. That, that don't mean that. That's a five-day window. It does. The doctor had said that the twins were conceived right around the 2nd of November, Your Honor. The twins were born almost completely full term. And if you count those dates back, it only leads to Mr. Patrick. There's Mr. No Patrick, possible. do you agree with those dates? They seem to add up. 
No, Your Honor, I don't. I mean, it's a, it's a five-day window between there. A five-day window matter, between Mr. what? Patrick. From the date that she had slept with the other man. Let's be clear. Ms. Pence, which day did you sleep with the other man? October 29th was the date that I had slept. Oh, yeah, we need to have that circle on the calendar as well. I slept with the other gentleman on October 29th, um, three, four days so later. So that is just five a five-day day window. It is, Your Honor, That's but right. I know for a fact that November 2nd is the date that I conceived. How can you definitively say it was the November said, 2nd? The doctor said that November 2nd was right around the date that I had conceived. What was it? They gave you a date or a window? It was a window of a couple of days in the first couple of days in November. So there's no way possible that it could be the other guys if it was the first couple of days in November. How is that possible? Well, I mean, it's just because October 29th is just three days before, and it's usually it is, an estimated it, it date I know for of a fact, conception. Your Honor, that Larry, Mr. Patrick, fathers the twins. I know that for a fact. So, Mr. Patrick, when you look at this exhibit and you see on October 29th that that's the date she had sex with the other gentleman, that's a that's a hard pill to swallow. You know. What I mean? Yes, it is, but it never happened more than the one time. That you that's say. The only time I know for it never All right. happened. So, Mr. Patrick, you believe this happened more than once? Oh yeah. And so, and you've, and you've requested that this court administer a lie detector test to Ms. Pence because you believe this happened more than once. Yep. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Mr. Patrick, in your court papers, you specify that you also had additional doubts. And they're specifically around Larry. What are those doubts? I think he's ADHD or something like that. You know what I mean? He's some, he doesn't listen. He's rambunctious. He's a little boy. I understand Mr. he's Patrick. a little boy. And I hope he grows out of it someday. But I believe he's ADHD or There's something. There's nothing or wrong with Larry. And so... It doesn't run in my family. How do you know that? It doesn't run in her family. How do you know that it doesn't well, run I've in your family? I've been with you for 10 years, honey. It doesn't matter. You don't know everything, every single thing about your family history. Yeah, but I'm not a doctor, n- neither. Exactly. Well, Mr. You know I mean? Patrick, I'll tell you what. I'm not a doctor, and Mr. Patrick, you said you're not a doctor. Sure and that's ain't. why this court has asked a doctor to come here. Jerome, will you please escort uh, Dr. Sarah Benson into the courtroom? She is a board-certified child and adolescent psychiatrist. Hello, doctor. Hi. Thank you so much for joining us today. Happy to. Uh, We are, of course, hearing testimony today concerning beautiful twins, Carrie and Larry. Mr. Patrick, our plaintiff, has indicated that he feels concerned that he believes one of the children maybe has ADHD. We don't know. But he says, none of these things run in my family. So the question then becomes, are learning disabilities hereditary? They can be but it's a much more complicated picture than that and that's not the entire story. So sometimes we can point to one gene, sometimes it's multiple genes, and sometimes it's the way that the genes interact with the environment, and sometimes the genes have nothing to do with it and it's just something that happened during the pregnancy or during the delivery or in that child's early childhood um, that can affect how they learn. That's interesting because you're saying the gene could be a factor, but there's also the gene plus the environment component. Right. And sometimes it's just the environment, like with lead poisoning, for example, where the genes had nothing to do with it and it's things that the child was exposed to later. What are the chances that one twin may have a learning disability, but the other does not? Twins, if they're fraternal twins, which is this case here, yes, they are. Um, are no more closely related than any other sibling pair when it's fraternal twins. And so you definitely could have one in one child and not in the other child, even though they have the same two parents. Okay. Thank you so much for your testimony. It's been very enlightening. I'll have Jerome escort you out. We don't want to take up too much more of your time, but thank you, doctor, thank for you. coming. So, Mr. Patrick, there is a chance that it can be passed down through the family. But the doctor said that there is a chance that it has nothing to do with that at all. So does that change your opinion now that you've heard the testimony of the doctor? It's a possibility, you know what I mean? That it, it could be passed down. So what you're yeah. saying, what you heard further supports your testimony. This doubt about the children, this is what's causing all of the friction in your relationship. There's no trust We've always had arguments over stuff. Yes, but Your Honor, we haven't haven't even been, uh, had sex in probably the past four months. It's it's just a constant argument 
from the time that I get up until the time that I go to bed, pretty much. It's constant argument. Over, Concerning paternity issues? Paternity and the one night stand and him saying that it happened more than the one time, Your Honor. And so that's why, Mr. Patrick, you asked this court for a lie detector test because you don't believe Ms. Pence is being truthful with you as to the true nature of the relationship with this other gentleman. No. Why do you believe if she came clean that night, why do you believe she wouldn't tell you the whole truth since she was so forthright? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I have I mean, no I reason just, to I hide like, anything I just at all, feel Mr. like Patrick. she's hiding more than what There's she's saying. There's nothing to hide. And just like I've told nothing. her, if, if it comes to the fact that the kids aren't mine, nine times out of ten, I'm probably going to leave. That's what I'm afraid of, Your Honor. I mean, if it does come back, which I hope it does come back, that they are my children, it's still going to be hard for me to gain trust for her again. Trust is So the, the stakes are high. This is, this is very serious, and your relationship is truly yes, riding on this result. Yes, Your Honor. I mean, like I said, I've, I've been through her with everything. She's had cancer. She's in remission of two years. I Amen. went through all that with her. I went through every bit of it. I just I mean, want this to be done and over with, Your Honor. I want him to get the closure that he needs. And I promise you, if it does And for come me, back, so that this can be over well, with, I'm to. tired of all of the argument and everything. I just want to get on with our life and continue to grow and raise our family together. Understood. Like I said, if it does come back, which I hope they do, I will apologize to you. But if not, it's something I'm going to have to ponder on for a while whether I'm going to continue to stay. All right. You know, at this point, I can understand where this relationship is at a crossroads. It is. Because you just don't trust one another. We're going to get to the paternity results shortly. But first, I'd like to give you the results of the lie detector test you requested. Well, here, Jerome? There's nothing. <clears throat> This here is going to determine our fate. I have nothing to lie about, Mr. Patrick. Ms. Pence, you met with a licensed polygraph examiner. Yes, Your Honor. You were asked the following questions. During the last 10 years of your relationship with Mr. Patrick, have you had sexual contact with any other man other than the man whom you admitted to cheating with? Yes, Your Honor. You said no. The lie detector determined... You were being deceptive. How is that? Ms. Pence, you were asked, did you have sexual intercourse with the man whom you cheated on Mr. Patrick with more than once? You said no. The lie detector determined you were being deceptive. That's not, Your Honor, that's not possible. I slept with the guy I one time. You, I knew it. You one time, Your Honor. On my back doing it. No, Mr. Patrick, I did it. It was one time. It never happened other than that time. <laughs> it's what that paper says. I don't care what so, that paper says. One night or one time? Let's be specific. It was one night, one time together. Period, flat out. The one time only. Have you ever had re- a relationship, sexual relationship with anyone else besides this person? No, Your Honor. Other than mas- Mr. Patrick, no. Well, these lie detector results certainly were not in your favor. Um, Mr. Patrick, after hearing those results, what are you thinking? Uh, ain't nothing but lied to me the last 10 I years. have not Especially lied to you, Mr. Patrick. It shows right there that you I don't care what it said. It happened the one time. That was it. I was nervous with everything that's been going on. And, you know, maybe it could have came out because I was nervous like that. I've never done it more than the one time, Mr. Patrick. I don't believe that. You get in my shoes. And I did that to you. How would you feel? I would probably be in the same situation, but I know that I, for a fact, that I only did it the one time, Mr. Patrick. All right. I think I'm ready for the results. Jerome? These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Patrick versus Pence... When it comes to fraternal twins, four-year-old Carrie Patrick and Larry Patrick, it has been determined by this court. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. Mr. Patrick, you are the father. I told you that you were the father. I told you. (laughs) 
Are you relieved, Mr. Patrick? Oh, very much so. No, the, the, the deception stuff with the lie detector <laughs> test, that's something that's going to have to be worked on because that just right there shows me I, I may not be able to trust her again. The important part of it is, is one of those dumb kids belong to me. I told you that. That's the important part. Now, that's going to make it a little easier on me to move on with my life. And so even though it has been determined today that Carrie and Larry are your biological children, you still are unsure as to whether or not you're going to be able to continue in the relationship because of the results of the lie detector test? Yeah, because of the trust issue you now. Right. I mean, it's bad enough I didn't trust her, but after hearing so much deception of her, I mean... I mean, let's be honest. You all have overcome so much. Why not this if you really make the choice? Right? So... You know, and Ms. Pence, if there is something that you just have not said yet, I think at this point, Mr. Patrick is just looking for the truth. And he stayed with you even after he found out that this other gentleman could potentially be the father. Uh, Your is Honor, there anything that you haven't told him at this yeah, point? Yeah, anything. No, Mr. Patrick knows everything that happened that night. I went into full detail, told him everything that happened. There's nothing else to say. Okay. We have counseling and resources for you all to hopefully mend this relationship for yourselves and for the children. I wish you all the very best of luck. Court is adjourned. Thanks, Your Honor.